Hello and welcome to a bit of a, a pallet man video today. Not my usual gardening videos, but into the, uh, I like doing a bit of pallet work um, or using pallets to uh, make things out of anyway. <clears throat> I've been doing a bit of a bathroom refurb. It's been the bane of my life actually for the last um, four or five weeks. I've taken a bit too long doing it, but the bathroom needed doing. I have, as you can see, put a new toilet in, uh, give the place a bit of a paint job, uh, new tiling, shower, etc. All up, really, really pleased with the way that's all turned out. And also, I have put a new backing here, a bit of a, a, a pallet splashback. Basically, I've just cut some different types of pallets up, all hardwood, um, and st just stuck them um, to the uh, to the back wall with wood glue. No, uh, no more nails, whatever that's called. And I've, I'm really pleased with that. I think that looks really good. Done a bit of a shelf. So I've got a pallet slat as a shelf with um, the old sides cut off there to make a nice little shelf. So I'm really pleased with that. Put a new light in. Um, and now I've just got to get a mirror. And one thing I am missing is uh, a toilet roll holder. So... I was thinking I was going to do um, a toilet, make a toilet roll holder out of a pallet and also um, a towel holder as well uh, using pallets. So hang on there. So here's a, a sort of a pallet slat that I've already cleaned up, etc. And as you can see, so I'm going to have it about here. And as you can see in the picture, it's basically a, you know, a tall column. You can uh, stow the, the toilet rolls in the bottom and then I've got yeah, your sort of conventional toilet roll holder bit in the top there that you can pull the tissue out of. Um, pretty simple thing to do, but I thought I'd uh, show you guys how I'm going to do it and, and the towel holder, which will probably be in, in another video. But essentially it's these wide pallets. So I've got some more downstairs. I'm uh, going to clean them up, knock it all together and uh, see what it looks like. Shall we go and have a look? So here we are in my basement where I do a little bit of the work in, in the winter time when it's a bit chilly outside. Actually, there's a couple of my previous projects there. Uh, there is sort of the, uh, the bench that I with a so sort of shoe storage there and uh, a shoe storage rack. They were quite good little projects to do. I haven't done a video on them actually, but um, they were nice, nice projects and I, I like them. I haven't done anything with the wood other than um, sanded it down and, and, and put it together. So made them up myself, quite happy with them. Anyway, on to the job now. So we saw we've got this one length of, of pallet wood and I've still got the nails in there where I've cut them cut them off on the actual pallet itself and I quite like that so I'm going to leave them there. I sanded that one down already as we have we seen and I've got these other two here which are the same size but slightly bigger than this one so I'm going to keep these as a pair these are dirty at the moment as you can see so I need to give these a good sanding down that's just a bit of dirt nothing nothing too bad there I've taken some nails out on this one which is okay as well so I'm going to concentrate on the toilet roll holder in uh, this particular video so I bought a just a cheap little toilet roll set and and a sort of towel set so I've got um, this bar for the for the the towel rail that I'm going to make like I said concentrating on the toilet roll holder so I've got the, the toilet roll holder there uh, the bar thing so what I'm going to do is once I've sanded these down I've cut these down to the right size already so I'll just have the back, 
the two sides and then I'll put a top and a bottom on it. And at the top here, you know, about there is going to be where the actual toilet roller holder goes in. And I'll cut a couple of circles either side in there so that they sort of, those bits fit in nicely. Pretty simple really, I think. What I'll do is I'll sand these down now. Um, sand them down. So, you know, ordinary sanding down, but wear a mask. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to bore you by um, subjecting you to watching me um, sand these down. So I'll sand these down and I'll come back and then we'll have a look at how I'm going to actually put the, the box together. Be right back. Right, so that is these two side bits done. I'm no expert on wood types. I know this is um, a nice hardwood. You can also feel that, but look, check out the grain on the sides of this top side here of this wood and, and on the other side piece. Absolutely beautiful. Bit of leopard skin type of grain on there. Um, so I'm going to have that on the outside, the front. Definitely going to have them on the front so that you, you, you can at least see that. So that's good. Right, one thing I want to think about is the back. So obviously the width of the back I needed to make sure that, this is easier said than done, I could probably do this just by measuring it, but <laughs> the toilet roll itself needs to be able to fit in there, doesn't it? Which, um, I, even from this rudimentary measuring here, that'll work. So that's good, it needs to be able to it needs to be, uh, be a bit wider, A, obviously, because it's got turn, and sometimes toilet rolls are a bit bigger than the other. So make sure you've got a good bit of space there. That's good. And then the other one. So, so now what I need to do is cut a top and a bottom. I've got one cut off from one of these. So I'll use that as a top. I'll measure that up, clean that up, of course. And then I've got another pallet slat here that I'll just cut this up um, to make a bottom. Right, when I am, um, I'm going to fix these together, aren't I? So, really easily, you could just use thin nails and some wood glue, you know. The nails, I've done that quite often, just tap the nails down in here. Um, I'm going to think about this, I'm either going to do that or I'm going to use the old the little discs that you cut a slice into the wood, I can't remember what it's actually called probably a disc cutter <laughs> um, and then one half will go into there and the other half will go into the back I'm not sure if that's going to work on here or not but I'll have a little think about that and then I'll come back to you and let you know what I'm going to do I won't be long okay so I now have a top and a bottom nicely cleaned up there that'd be nice decided how I'm going to do it as well so what I'm going to do is where are we so that's the front or the side rather that's the back I'm gonna glue and nail down the back there and then, and the bottom as well. So I'm going to um, nail and, and glue the bottom and the top. The 
top, I think I'm going to use the little discs. Uh, just depends on. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to use anyway. So let's make a start at least on the back. So what I'm going to do first, that's the back. Put these down. So, I'm just going to pre-put some nails in here, bang them in because it's hard wood, it's quite hard to get them in, um, and then just watch what I'm doing. <laughs> Where are we? White nails. These are a bit rusty, but they'll do. Put a few in ready. So I just want to nail these in just so they're just poking through. other side. It's a bit tricky. That is just about it. But I'm going to carry on. I'm going to put four or five along here a sec and I'll be right back. Right, so you've probably gathered by now, um, if you've watched a few of my videos, or even if you've watched just this one, that I tend to uh, sort of uh, make it up as I go along. I call it Agile Carpentry. Um, I've got a general plan of what I want to see, but how I want to do it is up for debate as we go along. So there we go, look. Four, two rows of nails, one each side. So that's the back, so the sides will be nailed in. I'm going to put a bit of glue down the sides as well. Um, and hopefully that will work. It's not going to be moving around everywhere, is it? So it doesn't have to be screwed in and super, super duper tight everywhere. This will, this will do the job. You know, all, at the end of the day, all you're doing is pulling a bit of bog roll off, so it will be all right. As long as it looks good, that's the main thing. Right, here's the tricky bit. Right, so I want these nice, this nice sort of leopard skin print to be at the front, don't I? Is that going to be nice? Yeah, that's it. So, Glue, don't I? I want a bit of glue. This is the tricky bit with a bit of glue now. Okay, a bit of a delay there. Um, because of the uneven, unevenness of the wood, the glue is sticking out everywhere. So I've taken the glue off and just gone for the for the basic um, nails in there, which is sturdy enough. I'll tidy up the bits afterwards. Tell you what I've forgotten to do, nearly, was the actual measure where the toilet roll is going to be. So if that's the front there, I'll have that as the front. So I want a toilet roll. About here. So if I have that in the centre, get my pencil. Basically draw that and then get my toilet roll holder and 
put that in the centre of my hole. So, I've basically got where the, where the actual toilet roll, that's the outer circle, and then the toilet roll holder is about that diameter. So, if I drill there with the hole cutter, that should just fit so that the, um, it's a little bit bigger than that toilet roll holder. And then uh, that should be my, my hole. Let's have a look, shall we? Right, so I've got a hole cutter. One of these type. That point is a bit long, so I'm going to end up having a hole on the outside, but that's no big deal. Um, but that is... about the same size as my toilet roll holder. So, let me drill out this hole and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So there we go, that is just about nice and flush there. So if I do that, now all I need to do is measure down on the other um, plank so that I can have it exactly the same height down on the other piece, then jobs will be a good one. So that's the second one done. <coughs> now, let's nail this second board on. Should be this one should be easier because uh, got something to lean on. Right, that's the three sides done. It's a bit triangulated in at the moment. But, when it works, I just need to bring this out a bit now, don't I? Wanna break that? Okay, moving on. So this is my base. So I think put some nails in this first, again that will make it easier to nail into that.
Right. If I line up the back. On one side. Right, so that's becoming a bit more square. Look at that beauty. Right, I just need to put the top on now. I still haven't decided how I'm going to do this. Whether to nail it in. Or try and do the old discs. Tell you what, I'm just going to go off screen and check out um, the thickness. Hang on. Whether this will break if I have. One of these, and I think this is a bit too um, thin. If I put the hole in there to put this disc in, I'll have a little look. There we go. I decided to nail it in. These discs are a bit too thick for the top end here, so it might have ended up splitting it. So there we are. Hang on. Ta da! <laughs> there we are. One bog roll holder for the use of. I'm quite pleased with that. All it's cost me is the little um, spindle thing. Jobs are good. On to the towel holder in the next video. Hope you'll join me. Jobs are good.